Hey guys, Julian here, and I'm at the mini pop-up at One Holland Village. And the brand is not just launching one new car or two new cars, but six new mini models. Now, Mini's been soldiering on with fairly older models for a while now. So these new cars are something like a reboot for the brand. So if you're ready, let's go and check out the new Minis together. Let's start with something for the petrol heads, guys. This is the new countryman, John Cooper Works, or JCW. Now you know this is the high performance one, you can almost tell from all the black trim and the red colours all over the car. But the JCW has always been the high performance trim line for Mini. This one has a 2.0-litre engine with 300 horsepower under the bonnet with the all four four-wheel drive system. 0 to 100 takes 5.4 seconds in this car. But the main thing about the new Countryman is that it is substantially bigger than before, especially in the back and it does have quite a big boot now. Now, Countrymen have always been the minis for family men and the newest model, more so than ever, is as practical and as versatile as you would want a family car to be. This version costs $292,888 with COE and that makes it the most expensive mini in Singapore right now. So think of this as the new flagship for the brand. But hey, if you want to break out with petrol, then you need to look at this. Look at that, look over here. What I mean is this, this is the Countryman SE and guess what, it's actually the most powerful Mini Countryman and yes it is all electric with two motors, one for the front and one for the back. That gives this car 313 horsepower and it makes this car pretty rapid it gets from 0 to 100 in 5.6 seconds. You're probably wondering about the range, well it has a 66.5 kilowatt hour battery and that's enough to take this car to 433 kilometers on a single charge. Surprising thing for me, the price is 243888 which makes the Countryman SE pretty competitive in the world of electric cars. But if you still want something electric and a Countryman, well here's a hot tip. This is the Countryman E and it's actually my pick of the bunch. This version has a single motor and it's front wheel drive with 204 horsepower. So it's still pretty lively, it gets to 108.6 seconds. And it actually doesn't look very different from the Countryman SE. It has the same 66.5 kilowatt hour battery, so it actually has 462 kilometers of range. And that's the longest range of all the electric minis. Okay guys, something I want to show you is common to all the minis is that they really tidied up the interiors now. And you can see that they've broken it up into layers. So you've got one bank of controls here and they've kept the toggle switches which are such an iconic mini feature. This new OLED screen is 250 millimeters and apparently it's a throwback to when the original minis had these round instruments right in the center over here. It cramps a lot of information into this space. So it does take some getting used to but it is very bright and very vibrant to look at. Something else that's new to all the minis, there's no longer any leather. In fact, uh, this material here is a recycled polyester kind of material and the upholstery is also artificial and sustainable leather. The price, that's 229888 which is a substantial saving from the Countryman SE. Okay guys, if you want something electric but you want it to be less maxi, then you've got this, the Mini Cooper SE. Now just a quick tip, if you see this S in yellow, that means it's electric. Red means petrol. Now the Cooper SE is actually built on a dedicated EV platform with the codename J01. So it's not just a regular Mini Cooper with the engine ripped out and batteries put in with a motor. It's fully electric from the ground up. There are two electric Mini Coopers and this one is the fast and fun one. It's a single motor front wheel drive with 218 horsepower. It gets to 100 in 6.7 seconds. Now if you're wondering about the range, it's 402 kilometers. It has a 54.2 kilowatt hour battery. Now one of the things you need to know about this car is it's much more spacious in the back compared to the previous mini hatchback and that's one of the benefits of using a dedicated EV platform. The Cooper SE costs $217,888 with COE. But if you're looking for something more affordable and you still want something electric and iconic then there's this, the Mini Cooper E. It is less powerful and it comes with a smaller battery. So this is a single motor front wheel drive with 150 horsepower but it's still pretty brisk. It gets to 108.4 seconds. Now the battery is just 40.7 kilowatt hours in capacity and that gives it a range of only 305 kilometers. Still, this is actually the only Cat A COE Mini and it costs $195,888 and that makes it the most affordable Mini on sale today for now. And finally, for the most traditional Mini fan, this is the Cooper S and it is a petrol car. You can probably see that it is actually built on a different platform from the electric ones and it still has the plastic wheel arches that the previous model had. And if you're into model names and code words, well, this is the F66. Now what's under the bonnet, if you're wondering, it's a 2-litre turbo engine with 204 horsepower. 
It drives the front wheels through a 7-speed gearbox and it gets to 100 in 6.6 .6 seconds. So the Mini Cooper S is still something of a pocket rocket and it's still a three-door with four seats. Okay, guys, you can see that even though this is the oldest Mini on the oldest platform, they've really updated it to look like the contemporary Minis. And something they all have is a bunch of experience modes. So this is the timeless mode, which is very retro looking. But of course, for any Mini driver, my favorite is the go-kart mode, which is very, very racy. The price for this, $244,888 with a Cat B COE. And that makes this the most expensive three-door Mini in Singapore. Well, that's what's going on with Mini today. But if you're wondering what's in store for the brand in the future, well, this pop-up at Holland Village is going to be a thing of the past. The brand is moving to a spacious new showroom on Lenke Road, and that's going to be ready in September. There is actually going to be another petrol version of the Countryman here, so you don't have to go full JCW, and that's the Countryman S. It still has four-wheel drive, and it also has a two-liter turbo engine under the bonnet, but it has 218 horsepower. Still pretty quick though, 7.1 seconds, 0 to 100, and I think that's the next Mini that's going to be launched in Singapore. And if you're wondering about a 5 row version of this car, well, that's coming maybe at the end of this year, maybe early next year. That's going to be the 5 door Cooper C, and it will have a 1.5 litre turbo engine. But it's going to have 156 horsepower, so it's going to be in category B and not category A. Still, that is traditionally the best selling Mini in Singapore, so that car is going to be super important. So that's our quick look at what's going on in the world of Mini here in Singapore. If you enjoyed that, well, please consider subscribing for more news and more analysis. Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. For now, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. See you again.